Hattie's a dream, isn't she? Yes, the kind you tell an analyst. I don't know how much more I can take of this, Alfred. It's what you said you always wanted. Some land, gardens, perfect English country estate. Outside Milwaukee. Well, it's only for three months. Last year we stayed just two months. It whips by for you. You keep yourself busy. You've got your projects, your paintings, your beans and radishy things. I have to go blow to blow with her every day. Well, you didn't have to at breakfast today. Actually's absence was her way of making herself more omnipresent. She's not taking up literal space, she's taking up psychological well, space. it is her home. It's not. Well, it isn't unknown to have one's parent living with one. She should be reminded she's living with two. It was the same as when you wired her that we'd gotten engaged. The next day, she came straight to New York and moved oh, in with you. Come on. She knows nothing's going to come between us. Ha, ah, in a mother's heart, hope springs eternal. <laughs> there are times when I think there is something unholy about you and her. But then I remember that we're in Wisconsin, so it's impossible. <laughs> what about the girl? Fine. Our premature visitor, early as the dawn and tripping with dramatic possibilities. How so, dramatic? You don't think it's exceedingly odd getting the wrong day? I don't know. Oh, of course you don't. You're an innocent child, a babe of the woods, born without suspicion or guile. You are your mother's son. <laughs> 